When Dwayne Wade arrived at the NBA, I don't think anyone could imagine the impact he would have on the Miami Heat franchise or the city of Miami. Not even the man who drafted him, Pat Riley, who has seen plenty of great players during his Hall of Fame career. Riley says every so often you get that special, generational player. He says he's drafted one in his 23 years in Miami. That one is Dwayne Wade. This hug in Brooklyn marked the end of the working relationship between Dwayne Wade and Pat Riley. It's a relationship that grew over 16 years to a real respect and love. What I was most impressed by when I really studied him. But Riley told me the start of that relationship was actually at a pre-draft workout in Miami in 2003 that didn't go well. What struck you about him the first time you actually spoke to him and maybe sat down and had a conversation like this? He did not particularly have a great workout. He did not shoot the ball real well. You know, he was nervous. And when he told me after that, I was very nervous. And, and then in the interview, uh, you know, downstairs, you know, talking to him, he just, he, without a doubt, just represented to me himself who he was, where he came from. But he had this, this spirit about him in competition. But at what time do you recognize, my God, we may have actually gotten a Hall of Fame type player, special well, player like that. that? You don't know how great a player is going to be until a player becomes great. And so we knew we had a very talented player. It wasn't until the second year, you know, really the second year when he averaged 24 a game, that is, we got a player here. We have a player and we need to put somebody great around this player. When the opportunity came along to get somebody that he could really, you know, uh, you know, really have a game with, and we got Shaquille, his game actually went to another level. Shaquille really helped him, and in a lot of ways, just his presence and, and how he could play offense, and 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 uh, Dwayne helped Shaquille. <laughs> As Riley watched Wade continue to evolve and then take the big three to a different level in Miami, he also recognized that along the way they had plenty of ups and downs. How have you maintained that level of respect and admiration to the years where you still have to this day that love and respect? Well, you know, it's different when I was a head coach because I was very close. I was, in, I was in the trenches every day, I was in their face every day, in their ear every day, and they hear you every day. And Sometimes, you know, both of you get, you know, to a point where you take your relationship for granted as a coach and a player. And there's a lot of stress. As the president, I'm taking a real long, you know, arms distance uh, uh, approach with this thing because it's Eric's responsibility. But Dwayne was special. I've always loved you know, Dwayne and what he was about. He was a winner, he was one of the greatest players that I have ever coached. And I've been around a lot of good ones, a lot of great ones. And I, I just have that kind of affection for him and I think you know, he too at the end, you know, we both could say, you know, we're sorry, you know, of, of some of the things that happened in this business from, from uh, you know, from a negotiation standpoint or whatever it is. And so, and once we got past that, it's, it's great. Wade has become a part of Riley's family and he got to enjoy every moment of his final season in a way he never imagined. This last year, I have to admit, it, it got to me, but the whole uh, concept of one last dance, you know, took on a life of his own. This is it. I've given this game everything that I have, and I'm happy about that. He managed it extremely well with a lot of class, and, and it came out the way I think he wanted it to come out. A very clear picture uh, of, of how it felt, how it looked. And, and the love that came back from them, especially from the people in Miami and the fans. I just went deep inside, you know, with, with my emotions for him, you know, because, you know, I could see this coming to an end. And I said, sometimes when you, when you see something great like that and you know it's winding down and he's going to be gone, and you start thinking about those years that have just sort of how did it happen? 16 years, just how did it happen? If you could put it into words, was he, what he means to this franchise. I think he is, you know, the one player with the heat that will always, you know, you know sort of be at the top of, uh, of, of, that, of that mountain. And, uh, and he will always know that there wasn't a helicopter that dropped them 
<laughs> on top of it that he climbed it and he, he crawled up that mountain and he, uh, he worked his tail off to become that kind of figure here. So he's made his mark here. He's embedded you know, his spirit and his soul in the community and in this organization. We'll never forget. Hey, John. I love you. Up next. This is a feeling that I like. This is something that I want to do. How D-Wade went from champion on the court to champion off of it when bigger than basketball comes right back.